Alrighty, and good Thursday evening, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your Thursday evening and New Year's Eve. We're getting ready to ring in the new year, and we will be doing it with some changes. In the weather department, we're looking at the above number warmth we've been having, uh, with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s finally coming to an end throughout the day on Friday. Now, we'll still see some temperatures near 80 degrees and then some low 80s in the inland spots, but relatively cooler than it has been the past few days. It'll be really cooler this weekend and we're going to see some higher rain chances come into play, especially on Sunday. Now, the satellite imagery as of this evening, we're seeing a lot of cloud cover across the south associated with uh, the jet stream finally coming into play in the upper levels and coming a little bit further south, a little bit more El Nino-like as we'll see that jet this far south this time of year. Uh, we'll also see an upper level disturbance begin to take shape uh, about the day tomorrow, and that will be the big weather maker going this week, and we'll show this right now. We're looking at the mid-levels actually first, and you can see the moisture content along the front. It's there, so maybe a chance of rain, but it kind of dies out. The real enhancement of moisture comes from an upper level disturbance along the jet stream that will really yank in a lot of moisture going into Sunday. You can see here by the blue is really deep moisture going into Sunday. So some of the rainfall we're looking at could be heavy at times throughout the day on Sunday, but that's going to be the best day. And it'll be cooler behind the front that comes through throughout the day tomorrow into Saturday morning. So it'll be cooling us down and they'll be cloudy on Sunday. So cool, cloudy and damp type of day in the upper levels. Here's the jet stream indicated by the brighter colors. Here's that disturbance I'm talking about. You can see here a little dip here moving along the jet stream. And again, that's going to be helped to increase the moisture content as we go into Sunday. Now for your New Year's Day or at least the morning hours, we're looking at temperatures to start out in the upper 60s, about a degree or two cooler than it has been, but still a chance of fog as you wake up in the morning. And as you go throughout New Year's Day, temperatures again near 80 degrees near the coastline, maybe some upper 70s, and then low 80s inland as we increase the clouds throughout the day. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. We're looking at about a 10 to 20 percent chance of rain for both Friday and Saturday, and uh, we'll look for the clouds uh, to be there on Saturday. Maybe a few peaks of sunshine here and there. Now on Sunday, again, it looks like we'll be cloudy the majority of the day, and the rain chance really increased in the afternoon to evening hours. And then we'll dry out uh, starting on Monday throughout the day. Should be a pretty nice day late Monday into Tuesday. Temperatures a little bit more seasonable, both on the low temperature end and high temperature end. May increase the rain chance for Wednesday again. All right, that's it for now. Another web weather updates coming up Friday morning.